What's up everyone? My name is Alex Padilla, the young bartender. Today, we're gonna be making the classic cheeky drink, Cobra's Fang for Tiki Thursday. So Cobra's Fang was created by Don the Beachcomber back in 1937, so this is classic cheeky um, by one of the fathers of cheeky, the cheeky movement. Um, you don't see any uh, cocktail shaker, that's because we're gonna be blending today. <clears throat> oh, I almost choked on my saliva. Well, let's get started, shall we? First up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do half an ounce of lime juice. I'm gonna move that out of my way. Wrong way. And then, Half an ounce of orange juice. Shake that. Put that there. We're gonna do half an ounce of passion fruit syrup. There we go. And passion fruit syrup is actually really easy to make and really affordable to make, believe it or not. I'll make a video sometime soon how to make it, but in general, all you have to do is get some um, frozen passion fruit puree. You can find these in uh, Latino uh, supermarkets and grocery stores. So you get that, you make two to one simple syrup, so two parts sugar, one part water. And then as the sugar syrup cools down, you put, one part pas uh, passion fruit puree, and then one part two to one sugar syrup. Put in the blender, mix, and um, put in a container. It should last about 10 days in the fridge. I put a little bit of high proof uh, rum in my passion fruit syrup just to give it a little bit more shelf life. Um, and the reason why I use rum instead of like something like uh, neutral grain like vodka is because I mainly just use passion fruit syrup in rum uh, based drinks. So enough of that. We're going to do a quarter ounce of falernum. I'm using John T. Taylor's falernum. And then bring in do one eighth of a teaspoon of pastis, or I think that's how you say it. I'm using Tarnot, uh, pastis, uh, any anise flavored liqueur, um, anise liqueur. You can even use absinthe. And the reason why is because whenever Don the Beachcomber made tea, uh, especially using darker rums, he used uh, Pernod or Herb Saint um, as well to kind of give an extra dimension to his drink. So if you like tiki drinks, as weird as it sounds, I really recommend buying Pernod or any type of anise flavored liqueur. Herb Saint is just as great. <sighs> and the rum part, this is kind of dangerous. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of 151 Demerara rum. Make sure there are no open flames around. And you wanna make sure you use Demerara rum, not, um, no, uh, not Cuban. Um, Spanish style, uh, Puerto Rican, so like Don Q 151. Um, it doesn't have the same, it's much more dry uh, than, and crisp than the more funky full bodiness of uh, 151 Demerara. So we're just gonna add a dash of Angostura bitters. We are going to add a cup of crushed ice. Get it in there. We're gonna just use this and we're gonna blend for about five seconds. Put that over the sink. 
you know, I'm just gonna take that out. There we go. And we're gonna pour into our chicky mug. And we're gonna add a little bit more crushed ice. And you get the crushed ice out of the freezer. So the reason why you might have seen a strainer is because sometimes when you blend the drinks, you have, um, and you just do an open pour, sometimes you still have liquid in your container and you're almost full on in your vessel or your glass. So sometimes what I do is fill about three quarters of the way and if there's still a, a bunch of liquid in the mixing, blending, container that you use, use a Hawthorne strainer and pour until all the liquid's gone and then fill up with more ice as needed. But I digress. We're gonna get a stick of cinnamon. We're gonna get our biodegradable, biodegradable straw. And that's it. Cobra's Fang by none other than Don the Beachcomber. Let's give it a sip. Ooh. Wow, now I know why it's called Cobra's Fang. That 151 definitely has a bite, especially in the back of your throat. Ooh. So you definitely get those notes of passion fruit, lime, and orange, the passion fruit and citrus always play along nicely with each other. And then spices of the falernum. Mm -mm. And then again, that kick of the 151. Woo! <sighs> Please consume this really responsibly because 151 is 75% alcohol. That's a lot. And then the pernod adds a nice, kind of texture, um, not physical texture, but taste texture to the drink. Mm. That's good. I love tiki. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit subscribe boop, and then hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a brand new video. Well, stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. See you in the next one. Okay. I'm done.